सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्जॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वेलकम टू द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द डिफाइनिंग मंथस ऑफ द रिमेनिंग मंथस ऑफ दिस ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड इन माई ओपिनियन दिस इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल मंथ दिस इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल मंथ टू गेट दोज थिंग्स डन विच वी कुड नॉट डू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल नॉट focus too much on dates and which planets are conjunct which sign and what is happening astrologically in the sky okay but i will try my best to give an input of what it means in our lives rather than going into the technicalities because many times people uh, do not understand if i say that suppose sun is in cancer so people don't understand they think that i am talking of their sun sign all right or they think that i am telling that this transit is only for those people who will have sun in cancer all right so whenever i am giving a monthly horoscope so i prefer not to include much astrological details all right so the highlights of this month are mercury's direct motion which has started from 1st of this month 1st august and very soon in the next 10 to 14 days jupiter will start its motion direct again yes now jupiter is retrograde it is vakri and very soon in the next 10 12 days jupiter will go direct which is known as margi all right and towards the end of this month saturn will also start kind of slowing down all right so and along with that we have the powerful conjunction of mars and saturn which will continue through the sign of cancer and also it will extend to leo and also we have the conjunction of mars and venus and this will also continue to the sign of leo okay from cancer so these are the technical details and very soon mercury which was in cancer went retrograde back into the sign of gemini with rahu will now again go direct in fact it has already gone direct and now very soon it will go and join this conjunction of sun moon or uh, sorry sun mars and venus all right so that's it from the technicalities and so now let us try to understand what this planet uh, planetary energies is heading us towards all right so if you are new to the channel then please uh, subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding how this month will be for you or if you want my help regarding any projects which you are planning to implement this month then you could always go down to the description section of my videos below where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him you must find him now because it's august <laughs> okay so the month starts with a new moon in the sign of cancer okay so that's known as amavasya new moon which means sun and moon are conjunct so sun moon and venus all three are conjunct in the sign of uh, cancer in the nakshatra of pushya so this month essentially is a great time to start off with uh, spiritual practices and uh, things like meditation or any kind of learning because pushya nakshatra is the nakshatra of brihaspati and the planetary ruler is saturn yes many times people confuse who is the planetary ruler of pushya is it brihaspati or saturn no it is not brihaspati it is saturn but why did i say brihaspati is uh, pushya is all about brihaspati because he he is the one who signifies this nakshatra all right so he is a very important person and that is the nakshatra where jupiter the planet which is also representing brihaspati gets exalted in 5 degrees of cancer all right so first pada of pushya falls in 5 degree of cancer and in the navamsha it goes to leo all right so that is the planet uh, that is the degree 5 degrees where jupiter reaches its peak exaltation so whenever there is a new moon or any prominent tra planets transiting in pushya nakshatra what we can do is at a practical level depending on the houses that planet rules 
we can go and see guidance from some senior related to that house okay so for example suppose you are a leo lagna and for you now sun is your lagna lord all right or you are a cancer lagna or you are a taurus or you are a libra lagna or you could be even a cancer or but anyways mars has passed so for these four lagnas i will tell so for these four lagnas because now your lagna lord is transiting pushya nakshatra for moon of course is difficult so let's primarily take leo taurus and libra these three ascendants you can go and seek general guidance about your life all right about every aspects of your life you can go to a counselor you can go to a life coach you can go and get some help from some higher authority because it's your lagna lord all right so this is how you can study pushya nakshatra so wherever cancer falls in your chart depending on your ascendant you will realize that new things are beginning all right so ignoring the astrological details the most important things that are happening is now mercury is going direct all right so essentially what happens when mercury goes direct you would have uh, noticed that when mercury was retrograde around 3 weeks back there was something which you wanted to do and it was halted but you did it but now you realize that you could have done it in a better way so now is the time that you implement it okay and apart from that jupiter is also the planet of spirituality and wisdom as we all know he is also now stationing yes jupiter is going to station by the next 8 9 days so the houses which jupiter rules in your chart depending on your ascendant these areas will feel as if now things have come to a halt and now the external manifestations will start occurring after around 15th of this month okay and on that time you will also have the the full moon the purnima will be there yes so the thing is that we now have to start implementing the task because see why why do i say this is the most powerful month of the remaining months because the time which went recently if you see from around may or i would say rather from april okay april may june july these four months have been very turbulent at least for me and many people who i know it has been i don't know how it has been for you why because there there has been these deadly conjunctions yes so for example mars rahu were conjunct all right then mars and saturn were in opposition yes because uh, saturn and ketu are together in sagittarius and then venus rahu were conjunct then sun rahu were conjunct yes then saturn was aspecting venus saturn was aspecting sun yes and then mercury was also getting messed up in this so the last four months or to be more precise you know the months april and june i would say yes may and july were still decent i would say but april and june were very turbulent most most of the people have felt that these months were very challenging all right so now it is over the challenge is over now so this does not mean that tomorrow nobody will die or everybody will live for the next thousand years it's not like that whatever ultimately happens to you will depend on your individual chart all right the overall transits which will affect us that will depend on what our dasha is indicating so if dasha is indicating good then good things will happen if dasha is indicating there are not so good things which will happen then we might face challenges okay so the individual chart and the dasha ultimately holds the key to whatever happens in our life and now when all these chaotic energies you know the chaotic energy means whenever there are whenever planets come in transit Uh, in conjunction or by mutual aspect of malefics then you can call it as a turbulent energy why because that time all the weaknesses get revealed all right so normally people are very good but the moment their weaknesses start showing up they start uh, showing their true colors okay so uh, this is the recent time as you know <coughs> mars saturn venus and all this v saturn mars saturn rahu all these things were getting activated so you could have felt that you wanted to do so many things in the last 3 4 months and maybe you ended up doing but uh, now you realize that you did not do them because uh, you you wanted to do them but 
you could say you know you are forced to do them that is why you did so now is the time that we do it holistically we do it wholeheartedly whatever we started we do it with full force with full heart and soul all right not that we were forced to do something that is why we are going on doing it that is not a very uh, good idea that cannot sustain us for very long all right so now is the time that whatever we are doing in whichever area of life in in short all right ignoring the other astrological principles and nakshatras in short wherever whatever we are doing now is the time that we put 10 times more effort now is the time that we become optimistic because this new moon is happening in a nakshatra like pushya which is considered to be the one of the best nakshatras or the most uh, elevated the most benevolent of all nakshatras because this is the nakshatra where jupiter gets exalted so to start a month where the new moon is occurring in this nakshatra is that's extremely great you know we are extremely lucky during this month that this has happened so now let us utilize this time let uh, and benefit our lives and one of the biggest lessons of pushya is that we should uh, share whatever we have with others okay so if you have some wisdom you can share it with others all right Sh sharing with others does not mean that uh, you go on to somebody's life and sit on their head and you know you become an authority and you dictate you should do like this no i'm not saying that i'm saying that if if you feel that you can help somebody if somebody is asking your help then uh, to whatever extent possible you should try to help them all right everybody's capacity is limited so now you after listening to this if you go and ask help to somebody and that person does not help you back don't go and give him a lecture that a hey, you see this exotic astrology said you know you should help others all right so um, you try to help others if somebody is not helping you do and don't go and give them a lecture all right that that's not a very uh, good way to see life so let us and also cancer is the sign of the mother yes is the original fourth house of the mother so now is the best time that we start doing things selflessly selflessly means many times people have a big misconception of being selfless they uh, they they feel suppose lord krishna says in the gita na, the do your activity don't be concerned of the result so many people say that oh anyways whatever happens you know god will give or you know this will happen that will happen no it's not like that it means that you are not prohibited to uh, expect good results or expect to make things better all right that's not wrong but to be disappointed beyond a level that you stop working at all when things don't go your way that is not correct all right so if you see the kurukshetra war then you will see that krishna and arjuna make decisive plans that whom to fight how much to fight you know arjuna is not just telling krishna oh, anyways you are there why do you need to fight no it's not like that so we have to take steps to improve ourselves we must make ourselves a better person a better individual a better human being at a material level and at a spiritual level from all perspectives there's no doubt on that and and we should put efforts in that direction all right so that that is our duty that is our responsibility now destiny means even after my efforts something comes of its own accord i accept it all right so suppose somebody uh, somebody has a very bad dasha pertaining to career for example suppose so maybe they are by their free will they are putting a lot of efforts yes they are trying to improve their lives in the matter of in matters of career but suppose by destiny that person is uh, destined to be uh, having loss in business or the boss will fire them or something like that so then the person has to understand that yes uh, i can do my best but my best need not be the best so should i repeat i can do my best but my best need not be the best sometimes the expectations that people have from us exceed our capacity yes our even when we are at our best we cannot fulfill those expectations okay sometimes it can happen like that so now is the time that we uh, forget what could happen or what could not happen 
let us take a goal and let us walk towards it all right and let us work in a selfless way we, we should work in a way that all right these are my plans but god has other plans because this in a uh, man proposes uh, god disposes should i repeat man proposes god disposes so let us do our best and leave the rest to god as my guru always used to say now do your best and leave the rest to god he knows best ultimately what is good for us and what what is not all right so one of the definitions of uh, faith in god because pushya is the nakshatra which deals with faith in god all right because it's the nakshatra where jupiter gets exalted so one of the definitions of uh, having faith in god or you know the supreme being is uh, not to go away from that belief when things don't go the way we want all right so having faith in god also means that when things do not go our way we still continue our spiritual practices we do not deviate from our spiritual practices just because uh, according to me in my present moment this is not correct all right so this is how the month starts and the conjunctions are happening in such a way that it will force us to put efforts in that direction wherever cancer is okay so essentially uh, long story cut short this is the month where we should do we should implement all the actions okay and many people have already messaged me that they were planning to do certain things but they were not able to do they had faced hindrances especially in the last three weeks when mercury was retrograde but now is the time they are able to make the best out of it okay and it could happen that there are certain things which you need to change also which you might feel that yes these things are not working for me anymore then you might have to do that do that okay so whatever is best for the situation take a notice of it take care of it and do it all right so don't think back and keep lamenting that oh this didn't happen that didn't happen something didn't happen fine but now you can do so many things right so now also if you keep wasting your time by thinking oh this didn't happen that didn't happen so what is the use i mean tomorrow you will lament why i did not do anything today all right the way you are lamenting today for yesterday the same way you will lament tomorrow for today yes so let us stop this unnecessary lamentation business all right this will not serve anybody okay and apart from that towards the mid of the month jupiter's final direct motion will start okay so that will again empower us to do a lot of things which we want to do and uh, sun will enter leo as we know and then gradually venus and mercury mars everybody will be in leo so by the end of this month wherever leo is uh, you will see that there is a very prominent force towards there okay and leo is the sign of authority and domination and governance okay so you will naturally notice this that you will become very conscious about your reputation yes you will become very conscious about your status because these these are things which are represented by leo okay but anyways we will discuss more about leo when the month of september comes all right but uh, this is a very good month to start off do, uh, with spiritual practices and last month uh, many people had taken consultations from me and, and i was extremely happy because especially because uh, i could give them so many remedies and i told them that start the remedies from first august okay so now many people who have consulted me in the last month when they will see this video hopefully if they see <laughs> so then they will mail me that yes yes sir i have uh, started with the remedies which you gave you know so i'll be extremely happy to see their mails and many people have already mailed me and today is uh, second when i'm making this video no today is first i guess yeah today is first so thankfully many people started so and if you have not started uh or if any other person has given you any remedy or you plan to do some mantras or you plan to read the Srimad Bhagavatam or the Bhagavad Gita or the Bible or the Quran whichever religious tradition you are belonging to then you can start it anytime any any Thursday you can start and today is also a Thursday you can start it from next Thursday or you can also start it from a Sunday all right so 
these are the things which you can do and uh, i wish you all the best for the next two months they will be filled with lot of uh, power and energy and our determination to do things in a way that molds our life for the better okay so there you go that is it from my side and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe share this video with somebody who is interested to know about the month of august and if you want a consultation from me regarding this month and how the energies will play for your chart then you could always go down to the description section of my videos down below where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye